Good day, this is Tata Trango Seva, doing another video. First and foremost, I just want to say that I do not claim to have the absolute truth. Now, let's talk about something that I'm sure most of you are not aware even exists in this beautiful religion called Palomayombe. What I'm going to be talking about today is called Itambo, or Janto Congo, or the Congo Cry, which basically is the funeral rites of a priest, priestess, or even in Gejo, any initiate in the Paloma Yerba religion. In my opinion, this is the most important ceremony that someone can receive in Paloma Yerba. It's a, it's a must. Now, you can already come to, con to the conclusion that this ceremony is like any other Palo ceremony, a secret that only initiated members can be a part of. So, I really, really have to watch what I say as I'll try to explain the most important ceremony to you. First, as a priest or priestess in Palomayombe, you have the responsibility to make sure that your affairs are in order before your journey is over in this world. You have to make sure that you choose someone that's going to be in charge of making sure that you receive a proper itambo. Because you need your soul to leave this material world and travel to your appointed world. And this is only possible if a proper tumble is done on your behalf. It's important. Again, I can't emphasize how important the tumble ceremony is for initiate in this beautiful religion called Palo Mayumbe. Now, there's a tumble for Engeyo and for Tata Nganga, Yaya Nganga. I'm going to be talking about the Tata Nganga for it is more complete. Compared to Engeyo, you can just imagine the difference. <clears throat> so, the first thing that must be done is the construction of a black banner with the patipemba of the deceased Tata in the middle of it. So, got the banner. And right in the middle, that patipemba is a must. You cannot bypass. You, it must go under. There's a reason why that patipemba must go on that banner. Now, this banner is hung so that people are reminded that this is an itambo and to refrain from unethical behaviors. After all, this is a most sad time and deserves utmost respect the whole entire time. So, your BS stays outside that door. Once you're done inside, you do everything respectfully and everything the, the right way. Once you leave that door, I don't care what you do, but what you, while you're in that monanso, you got to respect the fact that this is a, a very important last rite ceremony for that person. Now, all the sacred items like the sacrificial knife, the machete, the pacas, etc. <clears throat> need to have a black ribbon around them. But this can only be done only after the Nganga is told what is going to be happening. You don't want to just go in there and not tell the Nganga because you're going to be in a world of hurt. Trust me. Now, after this, a series of chants and ceremonies take place, which I cannot speak about. After that, a brief ceremony involving a broom takes place in which all the godchildren should take place in. There's a special significance behind this. I'll give you a very short sample of one of the songs that are sung with this ceremony. Yo tengo un pajarito volando. Yo tengo un pajarito volando. Translation. I have a bird that's flying. I have a bird that's flying. Que culpa tengo yo si, si tata se murió. Que culpa tengo yo si tata se murió. Translation. It is not my fault that tata has died. It is not my fault that tata has died. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because from the moment that tata dies, the Nganga is in mourning. And also, just like humans, the feelings of guilt, the feeling of not being able to avert the death that took place is very real with the Nganga. The Nganga has lost what I like to say is its companion of this world. I do not, do not like to use the term master, owner, or any other term that is offensive to the Nganga. So in essence, as you sing that song, in essence, you're telling the Nganga that you too lost what it lost, but it wasn't your fault. Not to blame you because it wasn't your fault. So, 
after this comes a series of spiritual baths in order to spiritual spiritually watch uh, watch the nganga and also the sacred items that have that black ribbon around them now after more ceremonies that i cannot talk about the banner with the patipemba of the tata must come down now after another ceremony will take place with the nganga itself after that, many items that I cannot mention are put in a burlap sack. And then the Nganga is asked, where will the final destination of these items be? After the destination of these items are known, a group of people are in charge of disposing of them. This also has a significance. So I'll give you a sample of one of the songs that are sung by that group of people as they're disposing of the items. Ahí va en ganga sola, en ganga no tiene amigo. Translation, there goes the ganga by itself, the ganga has no friend. That's the connection of losing that person. Now, after this, a representation of the Tata is constructed again. I can't mention what this is. And after the last ceremony is conducted, the banner is destroyed as a number of mumble songs are sung and then the last thing is done by everyone in the room in order to disperse the Tata spirit so it can finally let go of any and all connections to people, places, and things in this world that he was associated with. Now, those of you that have been involved in Itambo know that I didn't mention everything I just want to let people know that we have a funeral rite ritual in Palomayombe to help the deceased leave this world and continue on to the next world. So I just wanted to give you a little, little layout. I, I didn't really say any everything like I was supposed to say because I am not going to reveal any secrets. So now you are aware that we have our own funeral rites. So until next time, stay humble, be kind to one another. May Sambi bless you and yours. Salam alaikum.